Other interesting political news, you have Kamal Harris responding to the Hamas ceasefire proposition and response is shrimp and grits, unquote. Which, I'm not too surprised given her level of intellect. Now, this comes with thanks to Benny Johnson on X Twitter. Benny says, quote, Q, Madam Vice President, Hamas says it accepted a ceasefire deal. Your reaction? And she says, shrimp and grits, which... I guess we should just be, at this point, in terms of White House competency, perhaps we should just be grateful there's someone there that can speak full sentences. Now, let's go ahead and we'll play this. Now, interestingly enough, maybe we should just be happy here. Those, you know, her private security or the Secret Service by her isn't, you know, fumbling over and fighting each other like they were earlier this month. Right here. Madam Vice President, Hamas has an exception. She's also wearing a suit. I don't want to say it's F minus for fashion, but yeah. yeah. Hamas has accepted a ceasefire deal. Your reaction? What are your thoughts on Hamas accepting a ceasefire deal? Okay. Madam Vice President, Hamas has oh, accepted look, a ceasefire deal. If you're watching this, I think she has a lot of women on her secret service force. Person right behind her, right there. What are the odds that's a woman or a man? Hard to say. I would get. Oh, can't tell if it's a boy or a woman. Oh, I see earrings. Grant, granted, these days that doesn't mean much. I know. I'm gonna guess. I gotta put money down. Oh, I want to say it's a woman. Although these days, depending on who you ask, sometimes you have to ask them, "What is a woman?" Hashtag Matt Walsh in that documentary. Yeah, usual mental vacuous statements, ignoring the questions, and went pretty popular. Got 128,000 views and 1.5 thousand likes. Now, some of the top comments comes from Paul Zutba saying, quote, Kamala Harris is a bombastic idiot. She's also heartless. She jokes about food while other countries are being invaded and Biden is escalating war overseas. That's what you get from a diversity hire like Kamala, getting 66 likes. So in terms of being mentally and morally vacuous, again, marijuana policy, drug policy, another time, another place. I mean, we'll debate it sometime on the show. But regardless, the law in California was, you know, if you smoke weed, you get arrested because, again, it's federally illegal. And Kamala Harris was known for put, sending thousands of men to prison because they had marijuana charges. She's later on a podcast where someone asked her about that, and they found out that she herself was using marijuana, and she simply laughed using her iconic evil Joker laugh. So when asked for comment about hypocrisy of her consuming the devil's lettuce, yet throwing people in jail because of it, she chose an awkward laugh as a response. That's who's the VP. Now... One of the other top comments comes from here. Gorilla the Gorilla saying, quote, Rand Paul, quote, the amount of money going to Ukraine in this bill is more than we spend on the entire Marine Corps, unquote. That's insane and not great. I got 37 likes. Uh, let's see. Gorilla the Gorilla has done three comments in a row. We're trying to find more. One Bad Dude simply says, worst VP ever getting 27 likes. Indeed. Kevin Leponte says, quote, when you're stoned and get hungry, getting two likes. Let's see. USMC Lady Vest says, thanks, Kamala. I see you're really on top of things on cooking. 12 likes. Remember when Biden said he's going to put Kamala in charge of securing the border? Yeah, how's that going? Now, Common Sense Custodian says, quote, she is living her good life. She could care less about world problems and cooking. Seven likes. Yeah, Ryan Hugebrink said, quote, any updates on Kamala heading up to up the protection of our country from dangers of AI. No, just shrimp and grits. Sounds about right. Getting seven likes. Oh yeah, she's also in charge of that. Someone who probably cannot even use... Someone who could debatably spell the word computer is in charge of AI and regulation of it. I don't want to say we're screwed, but we're in some trouble. See if there's any... Uh, give me three steps as how appropriate to... How appropriately fake DEI of her getting five likes. Beto Bitnar says she's a faking four likes. Let's see here. I mean, there's gotta be, usually there's some people supporting her. I mean, I don't see them in the comments, but yeah, the Biden administration is in a pickle. She's one of the most unliked VPs ever. Uh, she's so unelectable that she didn't even win the primary in California. She dropped out before she could even get that far, I believe, in the, yeah, for 2020. So she's exceedingly unpopular. And again, I think she's more of a liability than an asset when it comes to the reelectability of Biden-Harris campaign. 
You also can't get rid of her because, again, she checks a lot of the marks that they're looking for, and and they'll be lambasted by their own party if they were to do so. So they're in a tight spot. And again, I don't see her getting smarter overnight or more intelligent or more emotional intelligence or just book intelligence over smarter or even street smarts overnight. So I don't see her the perception of her increasing, the public perception of her, and I don't see her actually doing a good job anytime soon. She might very well surprise all tomorrow and say, hey, I just fixed the U.S. border where it's all, as youth might say, tight, as in you can't get through. I mean, probably not, but... As always, let me know what you think. I'd be fascinated to hear what you have to say. Thank you, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, I'm trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So if you could click that button, I'd really, really appreciate it. Especially if you click that subscribe button at Rumble. We're trying to grow more and more. Again, don't forget to take the time to like, subscribe, and follow. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe and fight the good fight.